What's up guys, it's your boy Gus back in with another video. And this time I'm going to be talking about and reviewing all of Aspen Hotel. Now, let me say why I'm doing this. As I said in the last video, if you haven't watched it, please do. It's an update and it explains why I'm doing this video. <laughs> Basically, when I reacted to the first episode of Aspen Hotel, that video got taken down. And I don't want that to happen again because I don't want to get more copyright strikes. So yeah, that's why instead I'm going to be doing a review of Aspen Hotel today. And now how I will do the review is I'll, I'll not talk about in depth about every episode and song because I want to do videos, some other videos about that. But. Don't want to trade this out for too long. Now, my view of Hans from Hotel, it's a great guy to the show. It's great, the characters, the story, the voices, the songs, great. And I'm gonna go into a little bit about what I like about each episode and ranking them. And giving them a rating out of one, one to ten. Ten being the highest and one being the lowest. So, let's start with episode 1. Now, the first episode has to tell. I'll try to think about it, if I can describe it real quick, if I can remember it. Episode 1 start with, starts with he, Charlie explained the whole story I have to tell about heaven and hell, about Lucifer and the other angels and stuff like that. And then, it goes to see, see a commercial for the hotel done by Alistair who is doing it but he doesn't like to because he doesn't like to do television only radio broadcast and then we see all the rest of the crew we see Angel Ross, we see us and we see uh, Mimsy is that her name? Yeah, Mimsy. I'm sorry. If I forget the names, I'm sorry. I can't remember the names that well. But yeah, and then Charlie then gets a phone call from her dad, Lucifer, who says that he can give her a meeting with one of the angels. Because extermination day has just happened. And so, then that goes into the first song. Happy day in hell. And yeah. And then after that songs, you then go into where it kind of two see uh, two stuff are happening at the same time. There's the one, the two parts in this episode part where it begins. There's the part where where Charlie meets the angel Adam. The first human, the first man, and trying to convince him that what she can, what she is doing, can help people, help the sinners of hell. And the other story that's happening is that Vaggy is trying to get the other residents of the hotel to help them make good commercials, more people come in, and then at some point into the song Alice Forever and then after that song we see Charlie get back they're about to watch the commercial that they have made but then the news podcast comes in to say which we have learned about a bit earlier that the extermination instead of happening in a year will happen in six months way earlier than it normally does And then that ends this episode. But before then, we found out that one of the angels has been has been killed by someone, and they are not happy. I'm trying to figure out who did it. Now I've just realized since I'm talking about this, I can't remember most of the episodes, so it's probably not the best way for me to do it. So, I'm only really gonna explain the first episode because some of you guys have watched me react to that. 
But I'll still have a review at uh, you goddamn giving your rating for all episodes. Now, episode one, I'll give that a solid 8 out of 10. It's great, love the characters, I love Adam, especially Adam is my favorite, he's an asshole, and that's the best. And yeah, but the characters and the songs are great, but the story progression is a bit out there. Because it starts with them trying to do this uh, Adam advertisement, which makes sense. But then they just goes from trying to getting a meeting with the angels while they're still trying to make the advertisement at the hotel. Bit too much, but still a solid episode. Eight out of ten. Now episode two is the episode where we get to see sort of pensions again. And and we also get to see the V's. Box, Valentino, and I can't uh, if I can remember her name, the, the, the Vita, I think that's her name, the V's. And then we get to hear it, we see it was a bit about the back, the backstory between uh, Alistair and Vox, kind of. You, you understand that Vox does not like Alistair, and Alistair, it's not like he doesn't like Vox, he just thinks of him as he does anybody else. They are nothing to him. But anyways, and then we get into Stay Gone. Which I'm gonna be honest about that song. It's not that good as people say it is. It's it is a good song, but I don't feel like it as good as some other songs. The other song in this episode, which I'll get into, I feel like it's better. But after that song, we then get to see that Box wants someone into the hotel so they can spy on them via that. Maybe it was because uh, Mel wants Angel to come to the studio more than just being at the hotel. So then, because of that, they decide to hire Serpentius to do it. No, so I was before Serpentius, Serpentius attack the hotel because he wanted to revenge on Al- Alistair but then because of how Troy is she believes in second chances so she lets um, Sir Pinches come in but the other people in the hotel aren't the biggest fan of him specifically Angel he does not like Sir Pinches at all and then we get and then, in case you see Sir Pinches doing this friendship exercise, trying to be a better person, he's actually one well, of the few who actually want, seems like wants to change, and I'll come back in a later episode. But yeah, and then, we get into nighttime, where Angel's walking around, and then he sees Sir Pinches setting up a camera for the V's. And then, when Sir Pinches got caught, he tried to get a box to help him, but Vox just slapped at his face and just hang up. So now Sir Pinches accepted his face and was ready to die. But of course, Charlie believes in second chances, even third chances. So forgives him. And then he goes with the song. I think if I correct the song called Say Sorry, which is a bop, is a great song. But people wouldn't want to talk about Stay Gone, which I don't want to say. Anyways, after the song, we then see a little bit of a scene of Alistair coming into the room and having a little interaction with Fox and then just destroying the phone and leaving him alone. Now, episode, and now that's, I can't really remember the rest of the episodes, so I might have to. Yeah, but again, um, I'll do a video where I explain more thoroughly about each episode. But that's my really episode for 1 and 2. And episode 2, I'll give a 9 out of 10. I like it more than episode 1. Because Sir Pinch is a goddamn. He's such a sweetheart. He wants to change, and he did change. But, anyways, I really don't know what else to say. But again, the whole show, the show as itself, the entire show, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. 
It is a great show. There is a bit to be improved. I am excited to watch the second season when it comes out. I have heard, I was seen this pub treat treated it out, that the recording, the voice recordings, are already done. They already recorded all the audio for season two. Now it's just the animation that needs to be done before it can be up, before it can be goddamn yeah, uploaded and then uploaded again and made. And that, I'm excited for. I'm most excited for the next episode of football to come out, which it's either I think I'm here for the period, it's either this month or next month. But again, when that episode comes out, I am gonna watch it on this channel because the hell of us I can't actually watch while being scared of hitting well coverage right. But yeah, don't worry, I'm going to make more has been videos. I have planned to make a video where I wank every episode in a tier list and also one where I wank every song. But the more favorite song, I had to see if I can figure out if I can make it without getting a copyright strike because I don't want that to happen again. But I am also planning to do on both for Hell of Us and has it as its own thing. Do a, also a fan song to this because I do want to listen to some of the fan songs and rank them. I have listened to a lot of them, but I want to make a video listen to it as well. But, anyways, I feel like that's it, it for today. Yeah, I can't really think of much else to do. But again, maybe soon I'll probably upload some gameplay videos because my this PC, I had a new PC account, it's way better to record games. You can see in the background they have some multi forces in there yeah, because I'm playing that game it's pretty fun. But anyway, as a, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the food, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you don't join me as a person or enjoy my content. That's completely fine. And if there's anything else you want me to do on this channel, feel, let me know. Let, please feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I remember, you matter in this world. There's always someone who will love and care about you. And no matter what you're going through, no matter how hard it is, just remember, if you think about it, think about taking your own life, don't do it. There's always someone who will love and care about you. And if you don't think there's someone is there, join the community. I love and care about each and every single one of you. Stay happy, be happy, love yourself. See y'all next time, Bucket Army.